and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today we are going to be doing a new makeup releases video talking about the new stuff that is launching. It seems like there's a new makeup launch every 20 seconds or so. And so I've picked a handful of them that I want to talk about today. Let's chat in the comments. Are these new releases things that we want? things that we don't want. Let's talk about it down in the comments. I love hearing your thoughts on the new releases. Everything I talk about, I will link down in the description box below any information that I may have. Pricing, release dates, uh, everything that I'm wearing on my face today, I will also link below if there's room. If there's not, I'll put it in a pinned comment. I'm very much feeling like in my rock star era today. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. I know that this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Everything I talk about today is just my opinion. It's not the end all be all. And if we have different opinions, it's totally okay. These are just my opinions. That's my opinion! So if you are new here, uh, I am an indie makeup lover. I really do love, especially indie eyeshadows. And one of my most favorite indie brands is Unearthly Cosmetics. I am actually wearing one of their palettes on my eyes today uh, and their lashes actually. I love their lashes, their eyeshadow palettes. And they are releasing two new eyeshadow palettes as well as some more shades of their satin liquid lipsticks. So let's start with the palettes. So the first palette that I'm gonna mention is the Dead of Night palette. Both palettes are launching on November 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. The Dead of Night palette retails for $40 and it's a 12 pan palette. And it looks like this really pretty like blue, green, purple palette, cool tone palette. And they are saying that this is an extension to the In the Dark palette, which I have the In the Dark palette. So this palette looks gorgeous for like winter time. I don't know, in the winter time, I'm super inspired by cool tones. I'm not usually a cool tone person. So the other palette, is much more up my alley. This is a nine pan palette. This is called the Daily Grind. It's also launching at the same dates and the same times. This is a nine pan palette. And apparently the pans are smaller. Usually on Earthly Cosmetics palettes, the pans are quite large. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I will probably never pan. Okay, never say never. I have panned a couple of shadows in my Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette <laughs> because it was the only palette I had a long time ago. I did pan a couple of shades in that, but I'm not someone who, to pan shadows. So I don't mind if the pans are smaller. I, I would prefer it if the price point is going to be cheaper. And this nine pan palette retails for $25, which is really affordable, especially for the quality of their eyeshadows is so, 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 so good. If you've never tried the brand before, I would definitely recommend checking them out. The Satin Liquid Lipsticks are some products that I've never tried from the brand and I absolutely wanna try them. They look gorgeous. All of the new shades that are coming out look absolutely gorgeous. So there's seven new Satin Liquid Lip Shades launching at the same date and same time, $15 each. I'm excited, I'm ready, I love it. Sign me up. What are your thoughts on these? Another new release I wanted to mention is from Domini Cosmetics. So they are launching their essential, oh, it already launched on uh, November 4th, the Essentials Palette. So it features 12 mauve multi-use shades that will take you from a full face day to night look. It's $49, okay, it's a little expensive. You know, I think it's interesting that they're marketing it as a full face palette. I mean, any eyeshadow palette I would think could be a full face palette, right? You can use, any shade for a blush or a bronzer or a highlight. I do that all the time. A lot of people do that all the time. So I think it's interesting that they're like marketing it as an all-in-one when it's really just an eyeshadow palette. I have tried quite a few Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and I feel like the quality is not consistent. Some of the palettes I have, like the original Latte palette, the Berries and Cream palette, I think are great quality, but I've tried some other palettes from them that I've not thought was great quality at all. So I'm not really interested in picking this up. I've got plenty of neutral palettes and plenty of palettes that I'm interested in picking up. And this one is just not one on my list, but let me know if you picked it up or if you're interested. All right, this is a new launch from Tarte. So this is the Glow Light Skin Filter. It basically looks like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, whatever, you know, wand. <laughs> and the Elf Halo Glow 
wand. <laughs> um, it looks like Tarte's version of this. So I think it's smart because both of those products were insanely popular. People seem to really love them. I can't really speak to it because I, I didn't buy either one of those products. I haven't tried either one of those products. They're not for me. Those just aren't the types of products I typically go for. I have very oily skin, so I have a glow naturally. And if I am going to want a glow, I'll just usually use a powder highlighter for pinpointing parts on my face that I want to glow or a liquid highlighter maybe. But this product doesn't really call to me, but it's only currently available as a duo with their Tarte Power Flex Concealer. Interesting, $39. And it's, I think it's only available on QVC at this moment, which is interesting. So, um, let me know your thoughts if you're interested in this. Also, let me know if you've tried the Charlotte Tilbury version or the e.l.f. version. And let me know your thoughts, especially if you have oily skin. I would love to know. It is available now. I will link it down below. Okay, ColourPop has a bunch of new releases. And I think they're kind of noteworthy. So, I want to kind of quickly go through them and talk about them. So, the first one that just... I just saw today is their holiday collection, but I think this is the holiday collection for Ulta. Let me check before I say that. A few moments later. Okay, I'm not sure if that's true, but it is their holiday collection. It's the Muppets collection, which I think is cute. I used to love the Muppets when I was a kid. Love, 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 love. The Holidays, Holidays, Holidays eyeshadow palette for $26. The eyeshadow palette looks really nice. It looks like the typical collab palette that they do with that's like half neutral, half colorful. I don't hate it. I don't hate a half neutral, half colorful palette at all. And then they also have four super shock shadows that match the characters, which I think is so cute. Like the green one for Kermit, the pink one for Miss Piggy, the red one for Animal. I think it's really, really cute and smart. They have four glowing lips for $9 each. Love the glowing lips. Love the glowing lips. Probably my favorite lip product, apart from the lip liners, from ColourPop. One glitter gel for $10, not interested. And then the full collection is $104. I think this is really cute. I do. I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna pick it up, but I do think they did a really good job with this palette. I think it's really, really cute. It is available on November 17th. Now this other launch from ColourPop has already launched. It is available now. This is a collaboration with Mariale. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I'm not sure who Mariale is, but she has 6 million followers on Instagram, so. I must be living under a rock. It is a gaming inspired collection, which is always fun. And this collection looks really beautiful. Everything in it looks really beautiful. The eyeshadow palette, it's a 12 pan palette, control alt glam cute. It's got purples, it's got pinks, it's got some peaches, it's got some neutrals. It looks really well-rounded, goes from light to deep, looks really, really pretty. Three Lux Cream Lipsticks, which I love the Lux Cream Lipsticks. So Glassy Lip Glosses, never tried them before. Super Shock Blushes, love. Graphic Inks Liners, three of them, never tried them. Face Crystals, love. So this looks gorgeous. The packaging looks really fun. I really like this collection. It looks really good. I'm not gonna buy it, but <laughs> it does look really, really cute. Did you pick it up and let me know if you did? I will link it down below. And then the last color pop launch I wanted to mention is the new After Party Collection. It will be available on November 14th at 10 a.m. PST. So they're saying that they are releasing corresponding quads, mascaras, and cream gel liners to go with their hair dyes that they recently launched. So I thought that was interesting. So there are six pressed powder eyeshadow palettes for $10, which are the quads. I love the quads from ColourPop. I love them, all the ones that I've tried at least, and I've tried quite a few of them. I think the quality is so good. Some of the best ColourPop quality, in my opinion. The mattes are blendable, pigmented. The shimmers are ultra sparkly, ultra impactful if that's something that you like. Really nice. I will say that they are quite fragile, like not the best things to travel with. If they're just gonna be loose in a bag, you wanna make sure that they're really like contained but I love, the, I love the ColourPop quads. I'm not gonna pick up any of these because I have a million of them already, <laughs> but if you were eyeing them, uh, I would say that you should go for it because they're really good. Six BFF cream gel liners. Gotta love the cream gel liners. They are some of my favorite eyeliners. They're great. 
Um, I might eye these and see like if there are any colors. There are a couple of colors I'm missing in my collection that I sometimes want to reach for. Like if I'm doing a certain look and I go to reach for a color and I don't have it. So I may do that like if they have a Black Friday sale or something like that. And then six BFF mascaras for $9. I've never tried the BFF mascaras. I'm not interested in, in it. And then they have bundles for $22, which I'm guessing is like one of each product. Oh yeah or 36 with the hair dye. So that's really fun. I mean, hey, match your hair to your makeup. I'm all for it. If that's, if that's something you wanna do, I think that's fun. Speaking of quads, we have some new quads from Viseart. Have you ever tried Viseart? I've never tried the brand before and they are kind of something that piques my interest. I've never actually taken the leap to purchase from them because their stuff is quite pricey, but these are some more quads. These look really beautiful. There are three different quads. Petite four palette, em Emily, which is rose gold and caramel, I'm guessing is the one on the left, which is the neutral quad, which looks gorgeous. The petite four palette, lilas de, I don't speak French, can you tell? Silky sassy lilacs and enchanting neutrals. And then the one all the way to the right is the violetta, gorgeous. And actually one of the uh, shimmers looks like it could be a duochrome, a multi-chrome, something like that. $25 each. Okay, that's not bad. I thought it was gonna be way more expensive than that. Honestly, over these, I would try the ColourPop ones. <laughs> I mean, I think the ColourPop ones are just wonderful. So um, anyway, these are available now. They look gorgeous, they really do. Especially the one in all the way to the right with that duochrome and the all brown one, which I've got a million shades like that in my collection. So I need to just chill out. These are gorgeous. I'll link them down below. We have a new collab palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I've mentioned them on my channel before in past new makeup releases videos. They are a brand that I definitely want to try. I've heard amazing things about them. Have you tried them? You have to let me know if you have in your experience. But this is a new palette in collaboration with Lexi Lala Makeup. I don't know who she is. I mean, I've, I've looked at her Instagram and she looks gorgeous. She looks like she creates unbelievable looks. And this is basically a rainbow-ish palette. She's releasing an eyeshadow palette with 18 shades. She's also releasing three loose pigments and two rhinestone mixes. These will be available on November 25th. Looks gorgeous, it really does. I don't necessarily think this palette is for me. Uh, I don't really need a colorful palette like this. I've got a ton of them. And I'm just waiting for the the launch from that brand that really calls to me, but I will say it looks beautiful. Let me know your thoughts on this palette. Are you interested in picking it up? I would love to know. So many brands are releasing, especially indie brands, are releasing these like multi-chrome highlighter, iridescent highlighter palettes. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. So there is a new one that is coming to the market. This is the On the Top of the Mountain and Beneath the Stars highlighter palette from Sugar Drizzle Polish. I've never tried the brand. I'm very interested in trying them. Six iridescent highlighters available Black Friday, 11.25. This looks gorgeous. They have these like shifty, colorful sheens to them, but they don't look like they have a deep base color, which I really like. I think they're really pretty. Um, I could be intrigued to pick one of these up. I know Blend Bunny has one. I know Bella Beauté Bar has one. Let me know your thoughts. If you've picked up any of these or are you interested in the Sugar Drizzle one, tell me which is your favorite. I would love to know because I could be intrigued to pick one up, maybe Black Friday. I'm definitely waiting to see all the Black Friday deals that are coming. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of them this year and I am thinking of doing a video once more brands release what their deals are to just give you like the whole lowdown on what all the sales are. So let me know if you're interested in that. But this looks gorgeous. Speaking of Black Friday deals, there is one that I wanted to mention. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. Now they are one of my favorite brands of all time. I love, I love their stuff. And they have quite a lineup of sales that are happening, not just for Black Friday, but for like the whole holiday season. So pre-Black Friday from November 23rd to November 26th, buy $50, get 30% off. Buy $100, get 40% off. Buy $150, get 50% off. Black Friday, you can get 50% off the Whistler Snow Lodge palette, which is a great, 
great wintry palette. Absolutely beautiful. Cyber Monday, 35% off site wide. And then there's shipping deals where, for free shipping, depending on where you live. And it says a few more deals coming in December, details to be determined. So that sounds like a lot of fun deals. If you were thinking about trying the brand, that would be a great time to do it. Their stuff is wonderful, honestly. I'm thinking of picking up a couple of palettes that I don't have from them from before. Like I've got all their current stuff, but I don't have anything from like two years ago, stuff like that. So I'm thinking of it. Let me know your thoughts. Are you interested in the brand? I'm gonna link this Instagram post down below because there is a lot of information and so you can look at it if you wanna reference it. Another kind of news thing I wanted to talk about is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette, which is honestly, one of my most favorite palettes that I've tried this year, it is unbelievable quality for such an unbelievable price. They are restocking their palette. This palette has sold out, I, I don't know how many times, four or five times, as soon as they restock it, that day it sells out. So they are going to be restocking it on November 18th at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. This palette is so beautiful. If you like the color story and you're interested in it, the quality is so amazing. Some of the best mattes I have ever used ever. So, so, so good. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there if you are interested. All right. And that is it for this new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below, letting me know your thoughts on any of the things I talked about today, or even things that I didn't mention. If there's anything I missed out on, I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know what you are interested in. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.